This is another dude talk video. I don't know if this is gonna be the third one. Just by this might be like a little mini series, but today is a uh, a very crazy day. Uh, let's just say I'm going to Ville Platt on the ruckus. Never never uh, ridden any anywhere close to this amount of length on the ruckus, so ought to be pretty fun. It's gonna be slow, but put Honda through its paces. Feel really vulnerable out here on the highway, so I'm uh, carrying the judge with me today. But I don't know if I'm gonna record the, the entire, uh, I'm just gonna check back periodically at checkpoints and uh, tell you how it goes. All right, just turned on to Turkey Creek, Turkey Creek Road after getting a full tank of gas, so that ought to last me the whole way. It's, uh, it's saying 41 minutes. 41 minutes from uh, here until I get to uh, Bill Platt, so it's not too terribly bad, but this road is beautiful. I don't think I've ever been down it. And from what the map is saying, I've got a few like lake crossings, like a, like a bridge and a couple of other uh, lake crossings, maybe a bridge. Not sure, but it looks like a looks like a pretty scenic ride. I'm pretty excited I actually made the made the decision to do this. Oh, here it is. It's what I've been waiting for. Creek crossing. Ow. Beautiful. It's like a bayou down there. I thought it was going to be a lake, but that's even better. Yeah, this is a uh most definitely one of my new favorite riding riding routes because uh, I haven't seen one cop. I really, I've only seen one vehicle this entire route. There's a little old lady uh, oncoming. And I'm doing 45 right now and it, it's pretty fun. So I can imagine doing, bumping up the speed a little bit. Even low speed on these curves is more than enough. Very nice, very nice surprise indeed. All right, so that was, that was a little hair raising situation. As I turned the camera off just a minute ago, bragging about how amazing this road is, the ruckus just fritzes out like uh, and all I had to do was was flip the kill switch off and on again and it fixed the problem because I think I had a similar problem to this at uh, lower power sports one time but the in this case the the kill switch was in the run position and it was still dying no gas no power no nothing so that is uh Definitely not good. I really want to figure out how to wire this thing. Uh, okay, maybe. I don't know what just happened. That was weird. Let's uh, not have that happen again, shall we? First stop sign. Holy shit. Alright, this seems to be a little more uh, high speed, even though I'm not capable of doing it. <laughs> Alright, on our way. No more electrical issues, please, Ruckus, thank you. So as I'm looking up these power lines, I see something shiny, like maybe a little, little diode or something. 
but no it was a, a pair of beer cans tied together like a pair of shoes that were, throw, that were thrown up onto the power line that's when you know you're in the country all right i'm on the prowl i seen something up here Looked like a motorcycle uh four-wheeler or something along those lines we, we about to figure it out figure it out oh my goodness these curves though wow that was even too fast for the ruckus holy shit Come on, what what it what that is up here I've seen something i see somebody a little bobblehead going down the road oh man it must be moving but it probably already turned off huh crazy ghost the glenmore a ghost oh there he goes whatever that was He's going up the hill over there huh right next stop sign this intersection looks familiar awesome checkpoint Bill Platt, 18 miles, nice. Tiny ho! Some days when the when the music intertwines with the scenery, you just uh, like to try to find a genie in a bottle and I had three wishes. One of those wishes would most likely be an infinitive unbreaking, uh, infinitive tank of gas unbreaking down motorcycle so I could just ride forever like today right now I wish I could just keep going until my body couldn't take it anymore it's just one of those days all right so over the course of the ownership of this ruckus it has literally changed my life I mean, you, you can't, I've always been on motorcycles, but I catch myself riding this one more, and it's just, with the current mods, which isn't very much, I mean, I go from 37 to almost, four, uh, almost 10 mile an hour uh, upgrade on the top speed. Uh, I'm paying $5 a month in insurance, I'm getting 100 and, hundred something miles a gallon so I mean it's why why would you not I mean I'm, I'm probably going to have a Honda Ruckus when I'm old and gray I'm probably gonna continue ownership when this one breaks until it can't be fixed anymore I'll probably get another one after that no, there is no probably I will be getting another Ruckus after this and it's it's been just a blessing in disguise. See, like on days where even the bolt is becoming a little too financially uh, unforgiving. Look at those beautiful Rottweilers. Three, three or four. I guarantee she's got a big food tab. Literally, it's a blessing in disguise. I can come out here. It might take me a little bit longer. I've actually come out here, visit my lady not have to think twice about it since it's not even three dollars to fill this thing up and I can go over a hundred miles that's that's insane and I don't know why more people don't do it but they'd rather have their uh, overcompensating jacked up four-wheel drives I don't know this I can show up I've said this time and time again but I can show up to any any car show and this uh this ruckus is going to turn more heads than even the uh, the showiest. Uh, I mean, I, I could be next to a Bugatti Veyron, and I guarantee more people are going to look at the, the ruckus. And the only thing that's going to get more attention than this ruckus is a more heavily modified ruckus. So I've had this, I don't know if you can see them, but there's a black F-150 behind me. They've, been, they've had plenty of opportunity to pass. They've been tailgating me this whole time. So... 
I'd say there's a 50% chance that they're interested in the scooter and there's another 50% chance that they're uh, calling the law on me and giving my plates because of the firearm on my hip even though we're we're in the fucking country where 100% of the population owns firearms so I don't know I'm just gonna uh, keep an eye on them maybe they want the gun maybe they're gonna try to take it who knows either way it's gonna be good for uh, good for the video Them plenty of opportunity to pass me, motherfuckers. Hard headed piece of shit. Back at it again with the white ruckus. All right, the asshole is passed. Pretty sure I'm gonna get pulled over before I make it to make it to my lady friend's house. So let's just uh, let's hope that doesn't happen because I'm pretty sure. The folks aren't uh, too knowledgeable on the law out here. What I'm trying to say is I don't think they'll take kindly to someone flexing their rats. So we'll see. All right. It is 5.41. I've been up since 3.30. Uh, making my way back from Ville Platte right now. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. No, nah, not, not Mountain Dew, but I'm... Uh, all jacked up on Red Bull right now. I'm way too hyper for it to be this early in the morning. God bless America. Those are bright lights. Shit. Uh, all right. I'm just now entering a voice parish. And I don't know if you can see shit. But it's uh, really fucking dark out here. Even with these big ass ruckus headlights. Uh, damn spotlights. But as long as I can... Uh, Get behind the semi truck that's got one headlight out, I ought to be fine. What's up, dude? Oh, damn! Shit! That's some heavy ass wind, I almost got knocked off. Alright, um, so yeah, the trip from uh, Woodworth to Ville Platte is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So, uh, yeah, I will definitely be making that trip more often, seeing as though it only took me literally a dollar to make it from, uh, where did I gas up at? Fuck, I don't even remember where I gassed up at. Oh, I gassed up in Glenmore. So, I mean, that was kind of decent ways down the road. But I gassed up in Glenmore, and when I just gassed up, coming back from Bill Platt, it only took a dollar. So, <laughs> it's uh, a little less than a dollar to actually make that trip. So that is, it's fucking nuts. Like if you, if you ever had doubts about getting a ruckus, I don't know why you would ever say that. I mean, uh, whatever. I have I have heard things such as uh, I would not get on the ruckus because I'm too big, or uh, the ruckus is too small, doesn't go fast enough. I mean, the fuck does it have to go fast enough if you just leave earlier? So, uh, I, I don't know what the problem is. Like I said, I pay $5 a month insurance. A little over 100 miles to the gallon. Fuck the 47 mile an hour top speed. It's, it's plenty fast enough to get yourself hurt if you fuck up. So, I don't know. I don't know. Get you, get you a fucking ruckus and quit, quit bullshitting. Just quit the bullshitting and get you a scooter. Suck up those, uh, suck up that false, uh, sense of security with your manhood and just, uh, get you, get you a ruckus. If you, your, uh, your wallet will thank you. And when people are pointing and laughing, secretly inside, they want to be riding one too. Never doubt that. So, uh, I guess I will start, uh, pick up when the sun starts to come up because I always love a, god damn, that's a nice house. I always love a... Louisiana sunrise slash sunset. So see you in probably 30 minutes or so. Alright. I don't know why I had this strange revelation, but uh, 
I guess I've been watching too many movies because I was cruising down this road and I've got goosebumps on my arm for some reason. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? And then I realized what it is. I'm really vulnerable and susceptible to a UFO abduction right now. It's fucking dark out here and uh, I feel really exposed. I see some street lights lined up off in the distance like a low flying UFO. And I thought the motherfucker was coming to get me. Oh my god. I just didn't know what to do. I was gonna exit stage right into the sugar cane, but I didn't didn't think that through and I could have swore there was gonna be a uh, a damn uh, fuck the movie that comes after another movie. Lost the words right now. Uh, children of the sugar cane. So oh what the fuck is that? Oh never mind, it's a tower. Oh, yep. Definitely waking out right now. Paranoia is setting in. The darkness, the darkness. Oh shit, I just made it to Bunky out of nowhere. Oh wow. All right, so I'm in the city limits of Bunky. It's kind of nice. Okay, thank goodness. Maybe the UFO is less likely to pick my ass up in town. Lisa, I have people behind me now, yay. Is your nagging wife giving you a hard time about that alimony? Children eating up the paycheck. Call Ryland Law Firm. Get real. Get Ryland. So yeah, this is uh, this is the state of mind that I like to be in, where there's no fucks given. I'm not worried about it being embarrassed on film, where I'm fucking cracked out on Red Bull. But this is where my true personality comes out. So if I could just, if I could just keep this shit, or just uh. Just permanently, you know, hardwire, hardwire the uh, embarrassment key. Keep that shit pressed down. The sun's starting to come up. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's about to be real beautiful. Beautiful. Stars are out. Stars at night are big and bright. Down in the days of Texas. Oh shit! I just clapped in front of the uh, officer of the law. I don't know if he's coming to get me. Nope, I don't think he's worried about me. I took my hands off the handlebars and I uh, had to clap for the, the stars at night. Uh, but that was a dumb mistake. You're gonna count me for reckless endangerment. Uh. So we got the school bus rolling through town. Making little stops, picking up all your clowns. Bringing them to the institution where they're gonna have to come up with conclusions and solutions. Uh, I have no idea if you can see this or not. Most likely not, because I can barely see with my with my human eye. But there is like a streak in the air right there. It's it's just weird. I don't know. That's a big ass fucking tower. Holy shit. Uh, I hope it's still there when it gets a little brighter. I'm going to try to get another another video of it. I swear to God, after you, get a, after you get out of city limits, after you get a certain distance outside of the city, it's like 75% of the cars that pass you are white Chevy pickup trucks. What the fuck did I tell you? I, I wasn't even looking back. Oh my goodness. Point proven. Uh, so there's a lot of regret right now because I'm always telling myself that I'm gonna bring my camera with me everywhere I go just in case. And this is one of those times, uh, probably about five or six miles back there, there was this barn and a couple of uh, strategically placed oak trees that would have framed up really nicely. And there's like this fine like mist over the over the flat land with the sun coming up in the background. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is is a lot more uh, prominent back there when I was out of the city, out of the city lights. We got a lot of street lights in the way now, but you can kind of see that mist out there. Well, I can. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. I'm trying to beat the uh, trying to beat the sun home 
gonna get home, take a shower, grab my camera, and hopefully I can get out and take some shots before it gets uh, too bright. All right, so back there at the left, about a quarter mile, we have the wild pussy. And why do I say that? Uh, the other night I was out here getting some shots of some some beautiful lightning off in this distance, but uh, this motherfucker with a house right there would rather get out there, shine us with the brights, and then call the cops on us instead of coming down there to figure out what we're doing. So uh, yeah, shout out to you, you fucking pussy. Fuck you, I-49. Not being scooter friendly and shit. Just like they have bike lanes in Lafayette, they need to have a scooter lane for the interstate. That would be fucking badass. But, pretty sure it's never gonna happen. So, fuck you, I-49! So yeah, I've been uh, pretty curious about something. Because, uh, because of the Jewish ass town I live in. And their, uh, their fail, their failure to uphold our most basic constitutional rights. So as far as, like, for all of you that know my scooter, I have slow as fuck, but the U in fuck is, uh, has an asterisk instead of a U. But like, towns like this, they have a, a city ordinance as far as, uh, what do you call it, vulgar, uh, stickers and stuff goes, like, no bull balls on the back of the truck, no, uh, vulgar vinyls. I'm so really freaking surprised they haven't got me for this one yet. But I don't think, uh, I don't think I've been badgered on this yet. So, uh, I'm just saying, like, from my standpoint, being a, uh, constitutionalist, I'm, I'm thinking that's a suppression of the First Amendment. I, I just... I think it's bullshit. You know, if if I want to put shit on my car, you know, I should be able to, whether it be bull balls or slow as fuck or whatever. I should be able to. So, just, uh, I wouldn't mind to know what y'all think. Uh, I'd love a second opinion. So, Best regards in the comments below. Thank you.